Okay. Right. See how we go. This one's an interesting one. I think we're going to leave it on that. Okay. So we're going here. We're going to, this one's going to be a boring one. I hope I can make it look better. Even though it's a fucking boring design. Really boring. <laughs> boring topic too. Let's see how we go. So we're going to give it a background colour. And I think the colour is going to be magenta. So let's see how we go. Contrast. I'm just going to do our usual shit. I'm going to leave that one in the middle. Okay. This will be interesting if we can make it look good, even though it's a really boring piece of shit. What is it? It is. I found this tax return business card, CPA, whatever. It's just a boring tax thing, you know, boring shit, boring money fucking shit. I'm actually thinking it might be a bit too high, so we might just drop it down to call it 300 each way. I think that's good enough. <sighs> right, let's see if we can make this tax thing look good. And hopefully the magenta will come out on the on the white areas so they complement the blue and the yellow. Okay. Now this machine's making some funny noises because the yellow toner should by rights have indicated toner out. It's, it says toner low and before it was a full toner cartridge according to the indicator. Now that looks really nice. That, that's a really vivid magenta. The background colour has come up a treat. So we're going to use that. This is going to be put aside. And if that toner cartridge finally runs out according to the indicator, well I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it on camera to show you all so I don't end up missing anything in my demos so I have everything completed because I only shoot my demos in one in single takes whereas in before I used to take them in modern used to make them in mod multiple takes I can't do that anymore so I just prefer to make them single much easier so let's see how we go Right, let's go make this into a four-way mirror image. This yellow toner indicated out on Saturday and it seems like when I switch the machine on, it sort of forgets that it had a toner out indication. Really strange. I've had some pretty funny things happen to uh, photocopiers with me, seemingly almost unexplained things. I don't know why. Why? What is it with me in these pieces of fucking shit honestly what is with it with these machines that strange things happen to them don't understand maybe it's a coincidence but it seems more than just coincidence so as soon as things should be throwing up a toner out message for yellow and that's really strange what it's doing now it's been running I've, I've, this is almost my fifth demo today and I still haven't had the the dreaded toner out sim screen. It's actually not just a symbol. It's like the whole screen goes toner out and you can't use the machine in colour. You can only run it in black and white. You know, if it's the colour cartridge, not the black and white cartridge that's gone. And you've got to have all three cartridges running as well as the black, if you want to make a colour copy, it won't let you print if, it's, if, it show, if it throws up the big toner out screen. So there's no toner out screen yet. It takes a while, it seems, before it happens. 
why that why it's doing that now we forgot to press off another copy which meant to put two in but I wonder when that dreaded symbol is going to come up I've got to change this shit I've got spare toners now I picked up some toners today to stand on standby so I can so I can avoid getting caught up like I did on Saturday well because Mitronics like any other copy of business doesn't typically open on a Saturday so like what's well, typically they don't open on a Saturday they're a business and it's usually office so this is not a business that's running this machine so it's if we had them on the weekend it would have been a nice thing but most businesses open nine to five Monday to Friday so the photocopier trade only typically runs nine to five Monday to Friday or whatever the time the shop opens and closes but anyway that's this is not an easy one to do this is a bit I just got to make it a little bit better than that still a bit of a gap there which I find annoying so just try to straighten it up as much as we can without dislodging the other ones but for some reason we just can't seem to get rid of that ugly looking gap oh well I think we'll just call it quits we're not going to get too fussed but that looks quite interesting now it's not boring